Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Like MRI. And these are two patients I read back to back. The first one here is 73 years old. It's a right knee MRI. She had knee pain and she has a tear of her medial meniscus. So this is a common place to have a tear. And it's right in the back where the meniscus attaches to the bone. This little bright spot here is fluid going into a tear. So to get a normal anatomy, this is the lateral meniscus. Here's the posterior horn. Comes over, here's the meniscus body. Anterior horn, it's like a C-shaped ring. This is held tightly in the front and back, and we see the meniscus, this black triangle, fitting tightly between the condyle of the femur and the tibial plateau. So this is normal appearance of the lateral meniscus. The medial meniscus looks pretty good here in the meniscus body, but as we go towards the back, we see the meniscus coming across, across, and the end of it is right here. And right here is fluid from the knee going into the tear. And this is called the meniscus root. The back here is called the root, and then the posterior horn is here. So this is involving the posterior horn root junction, meniscus root. And when these tear, this is one of the attachments to the meniscus. When, once that's torn, the meniscus can drift outwards. And when it drifts outwards, then there's abnormal mechanics of stress. The femur will contact the tibia down here, and this meniscus no longer acts as a cushion. And you can develop stress injuries, stress reactions, sometimes stress fractures. And so the next patient I read has a very similar finding, a tear of the meniscus root. Let's find that one. Now this is a 68-year-old male, and he has, again, a very similar finding. This is his posterior horn, and the meniscus root is right here. We see that fluid going into the meniscus root tear. And when this is torn, again, the meniscus no longer is attached to the bone over here, and this can drift outwards. We call this pseudo-extrusion. It's just squirted out like toothpaste. You can see it's squirted out. And then with this no longer acting as a shock absorber, a cushion in here, we see that the femur and tibia contact one another. There's abnormal mechanics of stress, and you can get what is happening here. There's abnormal marrow edema throughout the medial femoral condyle. The articular surface, if you look on this, is relatively flat instead of rounded. And there's also a little band of fluid right beneath the cortex. And so this is what we call a stress fracture with early articular surface collapse. It's starting to flatten and uh, collapse, and eventually this will collapse further, and there will need a knee replacement, and this is already pretty far, um, pretty extreme at this point. But this is a uh, finding related to a torn meniscus root, and again, we get pseudo-extrusion, and then stress reaction, and eventually a stress fracture. And again, this other patient here, we caught them in time. They can go and reattach this meniscus root down here. I understand it's a fairly difficult surgery, but they can reattach that and then prevent them from getting a stress fracture. And that's it. Thank you very much.